Hi, I'm Jim Janis, the People's Computer Repairman. Today, we're going to do a little bit of marine repair. We've got some JB Weld, Marine Bondo, and we got this fiberglass boat here. Now, this boat may not look like a boat that you're going to use, but I promise you this. We're going to review these compounds, and we're going to review these leaks. We're going to walk you through it. So sit tight, hold on to your hats, because it's going to be a wild ride. Alright, so what you got here is some fiberglass resin. And uh, you'll look down here, there's some holes. Looks like bullet holes in the boat. One right down here. Which I don't know if it's a bullet hole because there's no exit. So this could be rot. There's no telling. If you look down here, there's some, some seams. And uh, take a look up here. We've got, get it up here when you're through. Just keep it stable. Yeah. Some holes here, holes here. And that's about it. So, uh, all right, the first step is going to be to detect the leaks. We've already observed them before, but now we're going to fill it up. Your first step is going to be to set the boat on some cinder blocks. Grab a garden hose and begin to fill the boat up with water. When you do this, you should find some leaks. Finding these leaks is going to be critical to your repair operation. Tip the boat over and empty out all of the water. This will enable the boat to dry. Drag the boat into the sunlight. This will enable the photons from the sun to permeate in and bake the water out. What you want to do is secure you some JB Weld Marine Weld. This Marine Weld hardener is specifically designed for marine applications and is good for any boat. Take a look. What it says. All right, come look at me. Give me. All right, it says warning. Surface must be clean, dry, and oil free. Squeeze enough equal amounts from each tube. JB Weld has that. You gotta stick your little doohickey in there. And, and that's that. Okay, so we're just gonna put a little bit of that goo in that pile. Get down there low. I want to get real close. Get down there close to that goo. It's very close. Yeah, keep it stable. I know you can't see it, but.
The morning reveals the Marine JB Weld is hard as steel. This product is basically steel in a tube. When you mix the two components together, as you can see, it creates a rigid bond, like the problem was never even there in the first place. We have added some Rust-Oleum leak seal. This sealant is supposed to be water. This goes over the masking tape on the outside of the boat. As you can see, one hole has not been completely filled in with JB Weld. So we are going along this boat encasing some of the dangerous points with the leak seal. The leak seal is available under $15 at most stores. Your next step is going to be applying some tire in a can. Flexible sealer. Tire in a can is extremely durable and can permeate into the seals missed by the JB welds. This adds a third layer of protection. We use tire in a can to seal up all of these orifices which could potentially leak fluids. guys we are minutes away from testing the boat and as you can see there are some cracks all right guys there's the lake oh yeah I uh, should put it on more slope like ground. But, you know, sure thing. Well, so far, no leaking. Oh, shit. How's it doing? So here's the proof folks, go get you some JB Weld and some of that tire in a can and uh, for literally under 10 bucks you can be on a boat like me enjoying the sights. Until next time.
This is Jim Janis, the People's Computer Repairman.